Good morning, welcome to the vlog. So um, we're headed to work right now. I'm bringing a little smoothie, like a drink, fruit, one of those naked drinks, um, and some yogurt uh, with like just some granola to put in it. Um, I am, I talked about my fast in the last uh, vlog if you wanna check that out, but basically what I'm doing is um, kind of just like clean eating. Um, nothing like no desserts no um like anything that's like basically not beneficial to my body so no like chips and things like that and i love like vegetables and fruit and all of that but i also really love like chocolate and <laughs> chips and dip and things like that so that's been actually hard to give that up because i'm a snacker i snack all throughout the day and not always on things that are good for my body actually um a lot of the time lately it has not been things that are good for me just quick things so i'm trying to kind of do less of that in general, but um, during this fast, I'm not doing anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, it's kind of like readjusting. It actually is difficult when you're used to snacking all day on basically whatever you want. And I just do small amounts at a time, but I pretty much just didn't have any limitation on what I eat. Um, it's just like whatever I'm wanting, especially lately. I used to be a little better about it, but anyway. So I am just kind of eating really clean um and eating things that are good for my body and uh yeah so it's been it's been good but there's nothing wrong with you know treating yourself having a snack or whatever so after the fast i'm going to try to um keep it up but do like what people call like the 80 20 rule where it's like 80 percent uh clean eating and then like 20 percent which would be like weekends or whatever of um kind of eating other things you know desserts and stuff so yeah we'll see <laughs> We'll see how it goes, but I'm at work. I'm gonna go inside. All right, so we're home for lunch and I made this salad. I'll show you the mix for it. So it looks like this. It's green cabbage, romaine lettuce. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Carrot, green onion, cilantro. Um, and it has like the dressing with it. It's really, really good. And that um, salad mix is from Aldi. So it was discounted because it's like, I think actually it's outdated, but it's still, it wasn't outdated at the time, I don't think, but. Um, it was probably about to be, and now it is, but it tastes really good, so that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> I did also put some chicken in that salad as well, I don't think I mentioned that, and it comes with these little, this little bag of stuff, like little tortilla flakes or something. <laughs> good morning, um, I'm getting ready to go to work right now, last work day of the week, um, so yeah, getting ready to go. Um, I'm trying to get up a little bit earlier. I have been getting up a little bit earlier, but I haven't gotten in my workout routine yet, so I need to do that. I would like to do it in the morning like I used to, um, but I think today I'm going to do it in the evening since I didn't do it this morning because I want to just get started. Once I get started, it'll be a lot easier. It's just getting through those first couple days, and then it gets a lot easier. So, um, anyways, yeah, getting ready to go. I'm going to bring some yogurt. We are um, fasting, and you would see me talk about that a lot. <laughs> talked about it yesterday with the um lunch that we ate and everything but it's actually getting a lot um i don't want to say easier i still would like to have other things but um i've talked before i'm kind of fasting like all the um unhealthy snacking that i always did you know um sweets and uh you know chips or sometimes i'll just come in and like grab a few pretzels or just a few things that really have no uh nutritional value and that's okay to do sometimes but i really needed to cut back anyway and then so I've just totally given it up for this fast and then like I said yesterday I'll kind of um put it back into my diet but not in the amount that it was after the fast I'll probably do like weekends or try to do that um so that I can just kind of work on myself and work on it being better and not just talking about what I should do but actually doing it so we're gonna go to work in a minute um not too bad of a day today Thursdays are actually one of the easier days we've gotten through the struggle of the week um tuesday and wednesday are hard <laughs> they are like really packed really great days but so packed um so thursday is a lot easier uh, in terms of busyness we're still at the office the same amount of hours and everything but just um a little bit more simple because usually unless something comes up we've gotten most of our stuff done so it's kind of just preparing for the upcoming week and trying to get ahead um so yeah got up this morning had my coffee got ready um, one thing I like about getting up at a decent time, I'm able to get ready the way that I like to get ready, so that makes me feel way better. But anyway, let's go to work. Thank you. 
Okay, so we just um, had that clip of um, Manny surprised me big time. So he set up the my old camera. I'm currently on my new camera, um, but he set up the old camera in the office when I had walked out to get some yogurt for breakfast, and he had gotten me a new camera. It's a Canon G7X Mark III. I've wanted one for so long. Um, and my camera is like, just I was struggling. I had to tape it up. I mean, it wasn't like I just upgraded the camera just because it was nicer. I just like really, my camera probably wouldn't have even made it that much longer. It can probably, some things can be fixed, but we were afraid to try since it was the, my only camera. Um, but anyways, so he had ordered me this camera. We'd planned on maybe next month trying to get it. Like seeing where we're at, you know, with finances and everything and maybe next month getting it. Um, anyway, so... I had planned on next month, so I'd been like, I had a goal for next month. We were saving this money for next month, and so Manny went ahead and ordered it, and I didn't know, and um, he surprised me with it and brought it into the office. Well, I didn't have a clue, and I'm not very observant, especially if you know me in real life, you know this about me. I am not observant at all. Like, um, he set up the camera on the keyboard chair not that far away from me and I didn't see it a single time until he told me so he sets it up he has the camera the new Canon on my tripod and I'm literally holding he gives me the camera and I'm holding it and I don't even notice now it's way heavier it's a different camera I mean it's very obviously different and at one point he told me to make sure I don't forget my cameras on my lap and drop it and I looked down at the camera and everything didn't notice and I was thinking in my head, it actually feels heavier, so I don't think I'll drop it because it feels heavier than my old one. I was thinking that and literally didn't notice. When I turned the camera on, you can see me, I look like I'm surprised, but I was actually just aggravated because it said no card because there's no card in my new camera yet. And so I was like, oh man, I left my card. Still didn't notice. And then once I finally realized that it said Canon, it hit me, but like it took me 21, he was recording for 21 minutes. And he kept saying stuff like, hey, you should vlog, you should do this, like, give me the camera, or I would have not noticed for probably hours. Like, that's how bad <laughs> I am. But I am so thankful, so excited. I have a screen now, a flip-up screen, that I can use because <laughs> mine was broken. It is so much clearer. It, like, blurs the background and does all the stuff that I wanted. It's so good. I'm so thankful. So thank you, Manny. It was such a good surprise. I'm so excited about it. Like, I could have cried. I wanted this so bad. So, yeah, very exciting. I'm the best husband. I love it. Okay. So, we just got back from lunch. We're back at the office. I 
am loving this new camera. Um, I called my mom and told her about it and she had like as good of a reaction as I did because um, she knew that I wanted one for a while and she had looked at them and everything so she knew how exciting it was. So I'm very excited. I can't wait to post this vlog. Um, I'm having some, uh, I almost said Starbucks, some coffee. I just like to see it focus. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to focus again. There we go. <laughs> some people do, they always do. Like. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm basically throwing this clip for no reason other than I like the camera. But... Yeah, so I, oh, I have a lesson to give today, so I'm going to plan that a little bit. And then also I have, um, what am I trying to say? I, oh, I have to plan a sermon. So last night's youth night, yesterday was Wednesday, so we had youth last night, and it was amazing. It was so fun. We started this new series um, called Bangers, and so it's kind of like, you know how if you hear like a song and people, I mean, I don't say this, but people say like that song's a banger, like they call like, good songs a banger. Well, I thought that would be kind of like a young, like fresh name. I love sermon series titles that like, you don't really know what they're about, but like you've heard the phrase or you've heard, you know, the word before, but you wonder how that's going to relate in a sermon. I love that. So anyway, that's what we did. We did, we're starting the series. We started last night and we um, are basically going into popular worship songs, like really, um, we songs that are done a lot, you know, you hear a lot and kind of going into the biblical context behind them and um what it means why we sing what we sing you know um like we used reckless love last night from Corey asbury and um kind of went into the leaves the 99 part that's an actual like parable straight from the bible but a lot of people don't know you know what where it's from so we went into it and talked about jesus on the cross and peter and judas um betraying him and all that kind of stuff so anyway it was really fun i felt like they were super receptive and um really were as excited to learn so it was really fun and we played some games and had some fun i love teenagers i just think i i love honestly kids teenagers like always related better than adults <laughs> which sounds so bad because i'm worship pastor for adults and i love adults don't get me wrong i love people but it's just so different when you can um oh here's my lid it's just so different when you can um relate to a teenager and a kid it's just such a different way i feel like it's you can be so much more real and just like straight to the point and just straight up with them because that's what teenagers want and that's what they need and um so it's really it's fun they're a lot of fun so yeah it was a really good night so i have to plan next week's sermon and um i already know what song we're gonna dive into but i have to obviously write the sermon for it but i don't think it's gonna be hard because um it's been kind of nice having that song for an outline you know you kind of go off of that but also it's been it's been interesting for me to look into the bible and kind of see like okay i never even realized that like that that ties in with this song so well and it's actually kind of showing me not things i didn't know but new revelations and i think every time you write a sermon that's my experience you kind of think like okay i never thought about it that way before so yeah i'm gonna go to work i'm at work but i'm gonna go actually do some work so <laughs> let's do that i love this thing babe So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. I came home and I was going to vlog this. Um, honestly, I thought the camera was dead. We have to go get a charger for it. And I thought it was dead, but apparently it does have some charge. Um, but I made a really, really good dinner. Just like another clean meal of like salmon and salad and potato and corn. Just like a really big meal because since I'm not snacking. Um, I mean, I'm having like fruit for snacks and stuff like that, but not like constantly like chips and things like that. Like I do a lot. Um, I'm trying to have bigger meals so that I'll be full. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you for hanging out today on this fun vlog. I was so excited to get the new camera and so blessed and thankful. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Remember, you're incredible. Jesus loves you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>